تهيئ تهيئ نوري ارفع راسك انت عراقي بطل بطل نوري To get to Mosul, you drive from Irbil through Handamiya, crossing the Tigris, and then you proceed north, and you kind of see the war in reverse, so you run across all of the tens or hundreds of thousands of refugees that fled a city that once had two million people. It's such a beautiful, placid landscape here with the river in the background and the sky. These villages just south of Mosul were taken on February 20th, 21st or so as the Iraqi federal police and, and security forces pushed up the Tigris River towards West Mosul and the Mosul airport, which is just beyond this area. Driving past the airport and the, some of the civilians, we then entered a neighborhood in West Mosul. Not so far from the train station, I guess. And you could see all the cars. The, the locals here said these barricades had been manned by, by snipers. this neighborhood was liberated just a few weeks ago and the few civilians that remain try to make of it what they can a, a kind of barely normal life without without water, electricity, or obviously any basic you know, infrastructure. The neighborhoods here were not subjected to heavy fires. Mahrata, 
هذا الميزان اللي يتوزن به المادة المتفجرة ويعبونها وهاي العبوة هاي مو محشوة مو استاذ؟ لا بعد هذا البيت هو او هذا المقعد الورشه هو مكان يعني متكامل لتدريع وتفخيخ السيارات وتسليكها واطلاقها باتجاه القطاعات. This neighborhood right next to Al Jadida in Mosul saw much more heavy fighting. And when we took this trip in the second day of the visit there, we, you could see the streets had been torn up by airstrikes and these buildings were heavily damaged. As we walked through these streets, I looked down one of the alleyways and saw what looked to be another ISIS improvised prison, basically. Oh. We didn't have the time to go into it um, or explore more because we had to keep moving.
Tebe. Tebe. منطقة باب الجديد ما بيننا وما بين العدو أمتار بسيطة قليلة جدا خطوط الصد للعدو انهارت بالكامل من قبل سبعة أيام التأخير عندنا بالمرحلة التقدم القاتلة المنية هو التأخير بسبب تواجد المدنيين اللي دي يستخدموا داعش كجروح بشرية حسب توجيهات سيد القائد العام القوات المسلحة وإن شاء الله الساعات القليلة المقبلة سيتم إعلان تحرير الموصل الآمنة بالكامل وستعود الحياة الموصل بصورة طبيعية جدا إن شاء الله <تصفيق>